my name is Sarah Luan and I'm the founder of Project Sunset. I started it in 2011 when I was a freshman at Saginaw Valley State University. Dan, my brother, and Alicia, my sister-in-law, were living here in Gabon. And my brother and I were talking and he told me about how high the mortality rate is for malaria in Gabon and Sub-Saharan Africa. A child dies every minute from this 100% preventable disease. It's like, that's unacceptable. That's why I started Project Sunset because a net is all that you need to prevent malaria. My goal was to raise money for 50 mosquito nets and then now since I've been adopted with E4, we've distributed over 1,500 mosquito nets. The E4 project also works with the hospital in the Democratic Republic of Congo. And in the Democratic Republic of Congo just this past summer, we had a huge education campaign where we educated 14,000 people. And that is at a cost of $2 per household. Whenever we give out mosquito nets, we always explain first how to prevent malaria and how to use the mosquito net before we hand it to them. The education piece sometimes is even more important than the actual physical net. And so at the mobile medical clinics, we start with explaining that the net has to be hung up and that it has to be tucked completely around the mattress and that whoever's sleeping inside isn't too close to the net because the mosquito can bite through the net if you're too close. We also explain that you have to dump out any standing water that could be breeding ground for the mosquitoes. And then we teach them about the signs and symptoms of malaria. We actually sell the mosquito nets at a greatly reduced cost because we want them to have ownership of the mosquito net and of using it and then that way they can afford it and then also value it and use it in their house. Since 2000, the mortality rate for malaria has decreased by 65%, but that just means that we should work harder and that we're getting closer to our goal. And when I heard that we're actually making strides globally to decrease the mortality rate of malaria, that just encouraged me and it just made me want to tell everyone, like, work harder, like, now is the time to commit. Now when people hear that there's a mosquito net and that they can get them, there's, like, almost a riot. Like, the other day we had 100 nets available and 300 people wanted them. <laughs> And so we had to leave and go get more. And there were so many people that were anxious and wanting them. And then families wanted two to three each. And so we really did not have enough for the crowd that gathered simply for the mosquito nets. Looking into the future, we really want to raise enough money to get a whole shipping container of nets and bring them here. And then that way our mobile medical clinics will not run out of nets in the middle of a clinic and have to tell people that there's no more. And they'll have a supply and we'll be able to get them at a much cheaper cost. So that makes Project Sunset much more effective if we buy them in bulk. And that means we can help even more people if we are able to pursue this goal. We have both Gabonese and Congolese people that have adopted Project Sunset as their cause. And that's what we want. We really want the people of the country to adopt this cause and promote it and educate and carry this on. And so we're really excited about our teams, both in Gabon and the DRC, and we're really excited for the future. I hope you'll join us in this fight against malaria. Oh. Au revoir! wherever Project Sunset expands from here, there's a mosquito and they should die. Um, <laughs> you can cut that out, obviously. Um, but.